Well, there is a fever gripping the nation tonight, and it's one caused by mythical creatures. Pokemon, once a very popular video game, has made a comeback. Just now, it's on your smartphone. And it's already one of the most downloaded apps ever, and it's been available for just six days. We sent Local 12's Anjanette Levy out to see what all the fuss is about. Joelle Curtis is walking around UC trying to get acquainted with her new school, but she can't tear her attention away from Pokemon Go on her phone. I actually downloaded it at lunch and then I um, started playing it, but I caught my first one. Curtis and millions of others are trying to catch them all. A couple of my teammates were talking about that. I thought it was kind of cheesy at first, but it's pretty addictive. This game is really pretty simple. You open the app up on your phone, and if you find a Pokemon like this one, you shoot a Pokeball at it, and if you're any good, you'll catch one and earn some points. Think of it like a virtual scavenger hunt. The game uses your smartphone's GPS to determine your location. Um, it's fun, and it kind of gets you outside, and you can exercise without being bored. <laughs> Riley Harold and her family stopped at Taft's Ale House in Over the Rhine. It's one of the many designated pokey stops where you can swipe your phone and win free stuff. It could end up being good for business. I've definitely seen a lot of people like uh, coming by and swiping a lot. Like a lot of people at tables playing as well, but yeah, definitely seen a solid crowd with it. The Serpentine Wall could be renamed Pokemon Go Row. Down here today, I've met a ton of people just running around catching Pokemon. Uh, because everybody basically has the same Pokemon in their area. Um, and it kind of has brought everybody together. But most of all... It's really fun, actually. And with a lot of fun comes some drawbacks, unfortunately. There have been some concerns about privacy with this game because when you download it on your phone and you log in with your Google account, the game can then access your email, your contacts, contacts and all of your documents. So there are some concerns there. And get this, there have actually been people staking out pokey spots, waiting for people and robbing them. So obviously you need to be very aware of your surroundings when heading out to play this game. Rob, back to you. It is hot as fire. And Jeanette, thanks very much. By the way, in just six days, Nintendo's market value has grown by $9 billion, all because of this one game.